It's on again, it's electricity power management anymore. So today we are here in a neighborhood in Accra. Uh, there's this fault, this funny fault uh, that a client of mine called me to come and attend to. So it's uh, when it rains heavily, uh, this uh, it's, it's like a store building, so it's it's it has a ground floor and uh, first floor or what we call downstairs and upstairs so when when it rains heavily uh the downstairs the, the, there's a power cut at the ground floor downstairs and the upstairs will be working so we we are here to check it out and see exactly what the problem is These are some basic uh, checkups that you need to uh, go through. Okay, so the first thing is this uh, 100 amps uh, breaker. So this is the supply. So we've uh, traced the uh, armor cable. That is the supply coming from the ECG pole. So it comes through here and this breaker, it goes through this breaker then it comes into the uh, prepaid uh, energy meter here. Okay, so there are some few things to check again. So you see the phase one or like one, two and three, they are active on the, on the, on the prepaid energy meter. So everything is fine on the meter as well. So from here, it goes through the meter it comes to the meter, then the meter will return it back to feed the distribution box. So these wires here, that's uh, one, one, two, three, four. This is a three-phase system. So this will feed back, or this will supply this distribution board, or let's say if there's, uh, there's a changeover switch there, there will be, this 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 will be supplied to it so after checking this out and everything is fine we will go ahead and check uh, the distribution board or consumer units or if there is a already fixed uh, change of switch we will check it as well all right so we, we are done with the uh, main uh, we, there's a onload change of switch here, so uh, you go ahead and check that one as well. See a couple of stuff here, flexible wire, etc. Don't really know what's going on here. Okay, so I'll turn it off. Go ahead and open it. Okay, so there's some kind of funny termination here. So you see this neutral, let's say neutral, so it doesn't carry any voltage. So let's say it's cool, but this going to, you know, this, the load going to fit the distribution board and this must be insulated properly. This also as well must be insulated properly and this one as well okay give it to me go and get me the tanker i have solution tape in the bag give it to me so i'll 
This needs it properly. Oh no, not this one. The black, I have it a black, uh huh. Look through it, uh huh. So it's important, uh, you see, these, these things right here can cause so many issues when it comes to termination and also uh, when it comes to uh, insulation of the wires. Okay, so these are the, this is live one, live two, live three, going back with, together with the neutral, going back to the distribution board. So in this case here, yeah, this is the uh, generator connection right here. This is the generator connection right here, and this is the main electricity supply right here. Okay. Okay, so on this unload change over switch or fiscal inspection, it is done, so everything is fine here. I'll proceed or move over to the distribution board because definitely it's uh, the supply is simple. There is the generator set and there is the main electricity supply down here and this is these are four cables here feeding back to the consumer unit or distribution board so i have to go and check the distribution board or consumer unit as well okay so finally i have uh, opened the 
distribution board or the consumer units. So these are all miniature or miniature circuit breakers, MCBs, they are MCBs, and there is an LCD. So this is a kind of very sensitive. So what this does is it's going to monitor. This is a three-phase system. It's going to monitor the phases together with the neutral. So together with the neutral and the F as well. So this is going to check at fault. Or in, in, in simple terms, it's going to check that the current will not pass through a place that is not assigned to pass through. So immediately this device, I'll see the residual current device when it sends that the current the current is passing through on prescribed uh, path this will just strip off between within few seconds so the thing is when uh, from the changeover switch this live one two three and the neutral so actually the system is such a way that it comes here from the changeover switch it comes here before the upstairs is up, so before this red wires, before this red wires, tap the power to up there. So there's no way, if this system is correct, there's no way this system is going to go off whilst the power up there or the system up there is working. So probably there might be an issue on some circuit here that might trip breakers or probably that might trip or cut the power from this LCD. Because this LCD, it's a serious protective uh, system in electrical installation. And so as soon as it sends that current is passing through a path that is not assigned to pass through or probably when it sends eight volts, it's going to cut the power and meaning this system will be shut off whilst upstairs will be working. Okay, so I'm doing some kind of tightening here. Then I'll come up with a final decision on what to do. Okay, so I've gone over to tighten all these uh, breakers and uh, all I'll, I'll do is uh, we'll wait for another rain to come then I'll come over to check it because right now as it stands uh, there's no way I'm going to detect this because from the changeover switch the three-phase connection is right here then it's it's it also goes up there and the issue is uh when it rains this side will go off and the upstairs or the first ground first floor sorry will, will, will have power 